Hello guys. Um, I thought I'd do a quick little video on the pool table if something gets stuck in it. And the reason why is because I noticed there was no video um, talking about if your balls were getting stuck inside of the pool table. And me and my husband, we wanted to play pool and we wanted to play and we got ready to play and the balls went in, but they weren't returning. Um, we got them returned now, as you can see, only because we fixed it. So I wanted to do a quick video on how to correct it if this happens to you, because that's very important. That's how I learn everything. That's how I fix everything, do YouTube. You can YouTube it and you can figure out what's the problem. Okay, so this is what happened. Um, we were putting the balls in, throwing them inside here, and they were getting stuck. Now, if you can see, I took everything apart because I looked at a YouTube video on how to take these off. I put this one back in. Uh, as you can see, it took the screws off. So when you're taking this off, what you're doing is, and I have the pieces over here in the corner, um, is this metal piece here. And it goes like this on here. So. If it was on, it would be on here. And there's some little screws over here that you take out. Um, these screws come out, uh, you put those on the corner. So this has to come off first. And I, I set it over here. I put the screws inside, all my screws inside here so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> and um, that comes off. Then after that comes off, then you have to take out these long screws that's like right in here. I put the, the one here, you can see it's back on because it holds this piece in. Um, I haven't put this back together again at all because I took the screws out what, what, when I um, lift up this part. You have to lift up this part. So in order to do that, you have to take off the metal piece and take these long screws out and then it'll drop like that. Move this out the way, put it in a safe and secure place. I put it up here on the pool table, right there. And it labeled so you can see. But anyway, so I did that. And we took all these off, the, the corner pieces. You can see these were, I started putting it back together. I said, dang, I should have did a video. So I was kind of mad at myself. And I'm sorry that I didn't show you guys ahead of time. These screws, I just stuck them back on the table. They weren't there when we lift up this slate. So me and my husband, we lift up the slate. And what you have to do when you lift up the slate, because it's kind of heavy, when you, you can only lift up the slate once you take these little corner pieces off. They were off. As you can see, they all were off. So then it leaves the slate sitting near. And what we did, we lift up the slate and we put in a four by four. Now, this is important because it gives your hands enough room to go up under the slate to see what's going on. So here's the four by four. I don't know if you have a four by four sitting around. We just kind of found one, had nails in it, so we had to be very careful with it, <laughs> spider webs and stuff. But we used that so that when we lifted up the pool table, we set it here up under my husband, held the pool slate up, and we set that like that, and the, sl and the slate set above here on this side so we could see. Because I noticed when the balls rolled, I heard it stop about right here. So I put a ball here, we hear it roll, and it get here and it stopped right about there. So I knew it was somewhere in the middle. So that's what you're gonna do. When you're looking at where your balls are rolling, where it's stopping, that's where you go, oh, you listen and go, oh shoot, it's stopping here. Or if it was stopping here, you would lift up this, that side. So the side nearest where it's making the, where the balls are stopping at. Ours was stopping there, so we put the, um, lifted the slate and lift it up on top of this part so we can look inside of it. And when we looked inside, we noticed the balls were all log jammed right there like we thought. And so we got the flashlight, looked, reached our hand up there, started moving the balls down, and we noticed what the culprit was. When you have, sometimes you have young people playing with your pool table, certain things get in there. What was in there? A medicine ball. That's what was stopping the pool 
falls and you're stopping them. It rolled apparently because it's easy to roll, as you can see. And somebody might have been playing with it and rolled it into one of the slots, probably over in one of these areas. And it got stuck right there. And all the other bosses got logged down behind it and wouldn't push it forward. So this medicine squeezy thing stopped all the balls. We got rid of that. Then all the balls start rolling where they belong. And as you can see, came all the balls returned, including the other ball right there, which was stuck too. So it stopped the log jam. So this was the culprit of it. And now I'm putting it back together again. As you can see, I did this side by putting the long screws inside here and put this one back together again right there. And again, I have to do this side, put it here, lift this up, put the log screws right inside here, as you can see, and then it go in here, you see there, and then I'll go in here, screw that back in. Once I get all that in, then I'll put this piece, which I stuck over here, and that'll go on top of here, and that'll be how that would work. So that's this. This will go, not that way, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's gonna go this way, okay. And you gotta slide that into the spots, like so. But I'm not gonna put it in, because it's hard to get it out if you use a butter knife to kind of pop it out. So you're not gonna do that to the last. Once you get all the screws in, then you put this part in, and then they gotta be screwed into this little slots right there. And, and that slots are located in the pool tab. You can see them right. They're the little smaller ones right there. See right there, those are those. So once I get that in, then that'll be done. And then do this side right here again. I put my pieces over here in the corner so I wouldn't lose them right here. And the, um, they label, as you can see on the back end, so you don't lose anything sad and stuff. And then I'll put this back in the basement because, eh, sorry, I'm glad I didn't throw it away. I don't know what we used to, I think when we did the basement, we had this extra piece doing a room in the basement. And then I think the kids took down one of the rooms. So this is why I was sitting here. Could have took the screws out, but we were very careful not to scratch the um, pool table or even ourselves lifting up the slate. But it's very useful because it lifted the slate high enough on this side to find out where the problem was. And so now instead of paying our arm and leg to have a pool table fixer person come over and fix this we were able to fix it um it took longer just taking the screws out than it was to find the problem and i saved i believe myself about maybe 300 bucks and someone coming over here fixing it. it could be more than that i don't know but minimum because you know have a person come out drive and then take all the screws out at least a minimum of three so that was it um hope that helps and uh Thanks. Talk to you guys later, and I hope this video helps you because I did not find any videos on uh, removing a obstacle. Again, I would use a a four by four or whatever you call this. Um, it got to go up the full length of going across the entire length, only so the slate can sit on top of it. But I would use one that don't have any nails. I just used it quickly because we was we were moving fast and we we didn't use we didn't scratch anything up. But I'm putting it back down in the basement and we're gonna put it all back together again and the pool table will be ready to use. Put the little pieces back together. I had to take this down too. It's used we took that down first. That didn't have to come off. We was just trying to figure out what the problem was. <laughs> So we thought it was that. So that don't didn't have to come out. We took it off. It's over here next to the um, um, chimney or the um, fireplace. But that didn't necessarily have to come off. We just took it off because we just assumed first check the first things that we could think of with, if it was in there. And of course, we took that out. That's easy. It's simple. It just slats back in. Lots in. This simple is too. It slats back in. The hardest part was just taking the screws out, which was easy. Using a, a butter knife just so that you don't scratch when you when you taking the little pieces out over here. Because that little piece of slats in, it fits in there tightly and you got to kind of you know, get it out without bending or scratching or damaging your table, okay? So um, I'll get it all back up and be done with that. And I hope that video helps.
Again, small little things can get stuck in your pool table. And if it's not a real pool ball, something like this, as you can see, got stuck in there. And we were going to call somebody. I'm like, nah, let me get the YouTube out and see how to get this table apart. And they just showed me how to get it apart. But there was no video to tell you if something was stuck in there, what, how to get it out. So we found it. And this is going to get far away from the, the um, pool table so that that doesn't happen again. Take it easy, guys. Bye.